Hello, how are you guys doing? Ow, <clears throat> jeez. My throat's blown out. I had to re-record the arcade video like eight times today, but I think I'm happy with what came out. Uh, that'll be tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, or yesterday if you're watching on After Hours. How are you guys doing? My throat may be a little bit raspy between that and Homestuck, so maybe uh, maybe this isn't the best thing to stream, but I'm, I'm going to be taking tomorrow off. So that way I can... Uh, Game should not be uh, homestuck anymore. It should be better now. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, let's get this thing booted up. I don't remember where we were or what we were doing. Uh, I think we're in free time. No one's been murdered yet, but I would expect that there's going to be a murder imminently. No one's gotten... Um, murdered yet so or recently i like that even on her sprite like it's just cleavage that's her character trait cleavage you're about to check the arcade uh was i oh i guess i am right because my character is like i should go out at night and check the arcade even though that's a thing you're happy? Well, that's good. Oh, hey. Huh? Where are you going at this hour? The Monokuma announcement was just made. Oh, you know, what about you? Where are you? Hey, what are you hey. doing? I was going back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Um, felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either a restaurant or a supermarket. Hmm. What's up, Viscount? I see. I'll be going now. See you later. Huh? Yep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna... You yeah, know. I feel like she totally saw through me. She did. How about I go to the restaurant so that way I can have an alibi? Oh, God. There are people about. Hey, everyone. Have a minute. Bubba Fair, thank you for the 17 months of support and count this count. Thank you for the three months of support. Holy shit. You know. Wink. Nudge, nudge. Gonna eat some food. Nudge, nudge. That's how I get off. Nudge, nudge. Thank you for the Leon bits, uh, zipline. How'd you make good timing? I just wanted to ask you. Me? What was yeah. it? I wanted to hear you, or I mean, general opinion. <gasps> Is this about what we were discussing earlier? What? Pico and Nekomaro we're talking anyway. about. Regarding my inquiry, Neko and Maro really look like we're cosplaying as characters from a fighting game. Do people in Japan care about this on a daily basis, or is this like just a because this is the anime thing? Cosplay? Sheesh. When I walk down the street, I'm often told I look like a fighter from a game or a martial artist from that game. Fool. I understand what they're talking about, no matter how you look at it, I'm only a team manager. I mean... Yeah, I, I can see how they get that. Thank you for the two months of support, Macabre Fishy. Uh, definitely this guy. This guy for sure is a fighting game character. Like, this guy is like a JoJo. The other guy, or Pico, I don't know, maybe. The chains really sell it. Like, if you got rid of the chains, you'd look a little bit less like a... Why do you even have chains? No matter how I look at it, it's clearly not true. Happens to me, too. One time, I was cornered by a strange group of people holding cameras. It was very annoying. So what'd you do? If you don't understand polite quests to stop, it's not my fault if I'm forced to get a little violent. His chains are for his whistle. Okay. I think it's better if I don't know the details. You beat some people up. We must confirm it with Hajime. No matter how the others view us, we are ourselves. There's nothing to worry about. You're right. I agree. I apologize, Hajime. Just forget about it. Now that you mention it. So anyway, what are you doing out here so late? Well, I couldn't really go to sleep, so I was thinking about going for a little walk. See. Be careful, then. Doesn't mean anything's going to happen to you, but you should be careful, just in case. 
How do I keep uh, coming up with Danganronpa titles? Uh, Tilda wrote down a whole bunch once I told her that was a thing. That and, um, for a while I was checking the, um, the comments on Danganronpa videos. I should probably cross off a few that I've done. So, like, um, day old grandpa. Uh, which one was this name? This is Dandy Roller Pins? I think it is. There we go. <sighs> I know. I, I pulled out a painting last minute today to make sure that it was ready for the thing. What happened? <laughs> for tomorrow. The one I really wanted to do, I just couldn't get done in time. Double Dribble Remix. It's a pretty good one. I'm going to write that one down, actually. What business do you have with me, human? You implying you're not human? I apologize. I have no time to spare for you. Instead, I shall let you in on something interesting. Does he have time to spare or not? Fine. Which is it? Double. Dribble. Remix. How much have I missed? Not much. A couple minutes, four minutes, five minutes, somewhere in that region. Behold! The so-called arcade machine. Thank you for the Leon and Homestuck bits. I guess. I thought Homestuck was a different number. Might be four. Despite your lowly intellect, you humans attempt to create worlds within games, but <laughs> how humorous, how pitiful. Listen well. You humans behave like gods in your fictional worlds. You act alone. The act alone is an imitation of us. Because Chase the reality- powerlessness. The reality your humans cling to and believe in to be real is merely one of countless board games we own. So, like, I'm just curious, like, does he actually think this is real? Like, is he actually like this? Or is he just like... <laughs> what happened? Are you speechless before the truth? I wasted my time. I'm creating an alibi is what I'm doing. He's like this all the time. He believes this shit. Okay. Oh, hey, everyone's here. That's great. I just wanted to get all the alibis in. Yo. Chunis legit believe they have powers. Okay. Yo, Hajime, you look bored. You want to fight me? What's with you all of a sudden? Huh? Something wrong? Normally when you're bored, you fight, right? There's no way I'd, I'd consider that normal. I was bored too. I was just... But since there were no people to fight, I was checking out the cottages of the Fallen. The Fallen? Byakuka and Terra Terra? Why? You. Someone might mess with the rooms if we just leave them alone, right? There's no way anyone would do anything like that. like that. But the rooms were locked all tight, so I couldn't go in. They were locked? Yeah, yeah it turns out Monokuma locked them. Like. When I tried to open the door, he showed up just out of nowhere as usual. He was saying stuff like, that chapter's already finished. We, uh, so it would complicate the game and... Hold on, I think it's best if you don't say anything more. Oh, really? Then I should go to bed soon. <laughs> Later, Hajime. What the fuck? For plot convenience, they're locked. <sighs> Thank you for the Leon bits, Ferret. I was sighing not because of you, but because of this, and I looked over to chat to see if there's something to take me away from her, and there was. It was you giving me money. Thank you. Horrible! Obeki's experiencing an awful... Kuma, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Monokuma harassment. Kuma hara. Thanks to the Monokuma announcement, I almost forgot the phrase I thought of. <laughs> it's the best phrase of all time. It would have filled you with chills. Big loss for humanity as well as you gotta act sadder. Sorry for your loss? So What's with the question mark? Aww. It's not just Kumahara, but Hajihara. Becky can't stand no more. Hara Hara is overwhelming me. <laughs> I will take the distraction of random amounts of money being thrown at me any day. Thank you. <coughs> you think marrying Ubeki would be worse uh, than it sounds for people? I mean, like... Luckily, I'm a reverend, so by that I could just mean that, like, I marry her to someone. Hajihara? Does that mean Hajime harassment? Yeah, obviously. 
Coughing a lot this stream? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just blew out my voice yesterday and today, uh, recording lines and stuff, and uh, didn't, not doing a good job taking care of myself. So my throat's just a little bit, like, gravelly. <laughs> What's with that laugh? You sound creepy. Can't help myself. I just heard something big. Right. Whoa there. I can't give any details yet, but when the time comes... <laughs> Now I'm gonna go to bed already. See you tomorrow. What was that about? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's just I'm an idiot and didn't take good care of my voice. Um, I'm gonna be taking tomorrow off, so it's not it's not a huge issue. Oh fuck! You see me? Hello? What are you doing out? What are you doing here? Pet? Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go hang out with friends tomorrow. Yeah, about that. I was thinking about taking a picture of the ocean at night. The ocean at night, isn't it dangerous? Be Thank careful. You. Yeah, sure thing. Bye. She seemed pretty agreeable. Usually she'll say something like, mind your own business. You have friends? I know, it's surprising, right? I sort of have friends. I have people I associate with on a cordial manner. I wouldn't really know if I should call them friends. One of the people I have realized is an asshole, but, like, it's kind of not much can be done about it because he hangs out with other people I like to hang out with. But he's kind of a dick. So it's just like, all right, fine. It's like acquaintances that I wouldn't tell about what I... Acquaintances is good that I'm on a good term with. Like, I wouldn't tell them about this channel. I wouldn't invite them over to my house. I wouldn't um, do much other than maybe go get a quick bite to eat or something. It's Jason, right? Uh, sure, it's Jason. I don't think I know any Jasons, actually. If I knew a Jason, that would suck. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. So should I go for it? No, not really. I've come all this way. I can't just turn back without doing anything. I don't really seem to have a choice, so I guess I'm doing this. Guess I should start playing it a little. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game. The screen automatically lit up. It is Jason. Fucking bastard. Like, to be honest, like, the guy that I'm actually, like, kind of not cool with is, like, he's okay, he just does things, and it's just like, wow, you're an asshole, low-key. Not even low-key, like, high-key, but it's just like, I can't not interact with him, because he's, like, friends with everyone else. So it's just, I'm gonna do my best to just not interact with him. Anyway, it's a face the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. It's purely intentional. This game is strange. It's got an old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder if this person who's controlling Monokuma is actually pretty old. I should try and start it up. Uh, it should start if I press the enter key, right? Uh, press enter with your own hands. Okay. Day two. Girl A. Already late. I'm going to be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry. If I'm gonna, if I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. We're waiting in the classroom 1A. It's the same controls as the normal game. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to girl B for now. Which one is which? I don't know which one's girl B. Is it you? Is it you? Am I a giant or are they short? Should talk to girl B first. It'd be great if I knew who I was talking to. Are you in good spirits today? You really, 
never mind. She's talking to girl B first. Which one is it? Probably the giant. Oh. We're here because he had something important to say, right? The front one? The girl at the very front? How is that evidently? They're all the same. Contextually, they all seem the same. What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. What about the newspaper? God, you're such a slow per girl, eh? Isn't- Why don't they have names? It was moving when girl B was talking earlier. Well, shit. I wasn't paying attention. And I'm dumb, so there's that. This one, here you go. Just read it. July 8th, around 6 a.m., janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. Oh, we're playing uh, Yandre Sim, but we're not the uh, the main character. That sucks. Imagine if your parents named you Boy A. I'd say it stands for like Andrew or like Adam or like... Uh, Those are all the A names that I know. Aaron, spelled with two A's, or Aaron, spelled with one A. Boy Andrew. Alex, oh yeah, Alex and Anthony are names too. See, this, this is why I can't name anything. It's because I don't know names. Uh, a student has been struck with forcefully in the head with a blunt object was already dead. It seems like the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, the authorities say the investigation is ongoing, but some believe that someone must have snuck inside the school to commit the act. Does boy A get to be first in the, uh... Like, when you're doing name calls, like, is he first or last? I mean, is A his middle name? In which case, he's gotta, like... All of the errands and stuff have to come first. Then, boy. Then, like, I don't know. Brian? I guess? Ants usually gets to be the first. I'm gonna name I say of Andrew and spell it and percent. It's like, for those of you on, uh, on After Hours, they spelled it, like, ampersand, like, like, uh, uppercase seven. R-E-W. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they're thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead we have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen, too. That sick, twisted bastard. Uppercase seven, yes. Sneaking into the school to steal a swimsuit and killing a nearby girl and escaping out a window. We're all in danger too, but this is really okay? We we're the first ones to discover the body and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter how who found the body first, so don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right, all we did was find a body and not report it. That's not weird. What if your caps lock is your seven? No. It's not really a crime, but still, I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way that I'm going to get expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't that right, Girl D? Girl D. Man. That- this is my most difficult voice acting attempt ever. I've got to voice act Girl D. Let me see if I can give her some character. Something that lets you know a little bit about her without... <clears throat> yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. I'm a I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk to about? Girl D, what the fuck? To be honest, I ended up talk uh, taking several photos of her yesterday. So...
Yeah? Are you talking about her body? Probably. I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. No, that's 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 not that's not that's not a normal thing to do. That's um that's a Vard Varkins thing to do. That is a you later end up in prison for an unrelated murder thing to do. Where are those photos now? I have them right here. <coughs> Fuck, sorry, sorry. I don't want to look at them. You already saw the dead body once. We're definitely going to get cursed. Cursed? Stupid curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Hey. This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse. Just as I said, curses don't exist. It's better to just rip up these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Why am I playing this game again? It was supposed to give me motive to murder other people, right? Girl D, you don't have any digital copy. If you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Girl E, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind. Just forget about the whole incident. Let's forget about the murder thing. And the fact that you found me directly next to the body covered in blood. Don't even worry about it. I had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end. Seriously, just let's all go home. Come on, it's getting late. I guess we skipped days one and three. Odd number of days are for bitches. Man, it's already late. The hardest part about being an archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. I guess I have to go back on my own. It was around the time the incident occurred, too. Jeez, why am I thinking about something so stupid again? Being murdered is stupid. If you get murdered, you're dumb. That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about the incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you... For yeah, that again. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. Okay. Goals. Ah, girl A. Could they have not, like, tried? Like, just Jessica, Samantha, Deborah. Uppercase seven Y. Girl A, what happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Ugh. Her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. Name spoil something? Probably. Hey, I love you, Dad. Okay. Don't. Don't love me. Don't call me Dad. It's because of the curse. Girl E? What happened to Girl E? Just take a look there in classroom 1B. How about I just don't? How about I just fucking leave? Peace. Okay. That's not way I can curate who can call me daddy to one or two people. One or two mad lads that know better. I'm gonna buy Astral Chain. I don't know that game. I feel like I should though. Ba ba ba. That's a that was a real ass picture of a human. Game over. Down five. Uh. That was a live action picture of a person. Is that the end? Wait. It's, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. Started on the second day all of a sudden, then jumped to day four afterwards. Why were days one and three skipped? What's with this down five message in the game over stream? Down five? Down by five? What is this? I don't get it at all. Who, why would this be a motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? 
For now, it's such a waste of time. Uh, I'll just stay here and should go back to my cottage and think about it. Okay. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. And as I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I s fell asleep without realizing it. Hey, um... Life isn't about moving forward. When confronted with an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time to think about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right as I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. What if I just shit everywhere in the train, and then I got right back on, and just obliterated that train car? Life's like that every now and then. Suddenly, an important question gets in your way. The important question uh, that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faith? Oh, I thought, I thought Monokumo was questioning his gender, and it's like, okay, explains why you're like pro trans rights, but, um, okay, but no, it's it's just he wonders if he's a classy bear. No, why am I hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. Regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom. Meant for gentlemen, what awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. It's definitely born in Japan, but I haven't forgotten about what makes clean, beautiful Japan good. Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there's always important questions waiting for you. Brought to you by Monokuma! That's what life's all about. I forgot that in, like, Japan they have, like, the squat toilets. I've heard they're better for you. Um, I, I was kind of shocked by it to not read it. You know, I don't really think that Monokuma believes in human rights. So being, like, trans rights are human rights, I don't know as if that's a good thing to say about Monokuma. I like to have a nice sit and poop with my iPhone. That's like the least natural thing possible. Then I flush it and it goes somewhere else. Natural pooping is not something that I'm really interested in. There's a lot of fan service coming out, but it's actually important. <sighs> Zelda has another early morning, by the way. Also, my throat is giving out, so we probably will cut this to a, oh, as close to two hours as possible. I apologize. Um, but yeah. Why is this game like that? I don't know. <sighs> important fan service. If you don't like fan service, it's happening soon and it will probably be part of the story and probably bar part of the trial. If you want a less fan service -y game uh, that's in this series, I also streamed all of Danganronpa 1. Not as bad as Chapter 1's moment, just like the fan service from Mikan. I see. Hope's Peak Academy's Trip Executive Committee. Good. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Legend Cascade. Is that true? Um, do I have censorship kitten ready? No, hold on. All right, now censorship kitten is ready. All right. In the end, that game is a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. Should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. I'm gonna have the kitten ready just in case if it is important. Oh hey. Good morning. Such a nice day today. I'm feeling I'm so glad it's sunny. 
I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. A waste? <laughs> it's nothing. I'm just mumbling to myself right now. So I'll excuse myself. What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, no. I haven't been paying attention to the poops. Are you okay? Oh, okay. It's fine. It's in a cocoon. I think that's good. How do I make this go away? Go away. There it is. Hey. Poke, poke, poke. What are you groaning about? Why you? Ibeki isn't groaning for some gross reason like Nekamaru does when he poop. He's worried about a more sublime, more serious matter. And that matter is... Yes. Ibeki is music genre from now on. That is important to you. Tell me about it. Music genre? <laughs> I escaped the pop sounds of the girl band genre. So I'm thinking about changing my musical stylings completely. I see. <laughs> but there's nothing that comes to mind. It's very troubling. I think you shouldn't do it based on, like, what style. Like, you shouldn't really try and write music in a style. You should just write music that speaks to you, and whatever genre that ends up being is what you write. Meow. If you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. Okay, that's... Death grips? That could be a thing. What if she just adds every genre to one song? Well, I think adding two genres to a song is generally a bad idea. Let me give you some examples. If you add rap and metal together, you get new metal, and no one wants to listen to Insane Clown Posse. If you mix rap and country together, along with some trip hop, you get country roads, or old town roads. Is death western a thing? Um, I think it's, I, I found out about like, what was it? Ambient jazz, punk jazz is a thing too. Old town roads is good, god damn. No it's not. What if you get jazz and dubstep? I think that's um, like aggressive chill hop. Classic country. Doom jazz. Punk jazz is a thing. It's apparently not ska. I listened to it. Ambient jazz is... Yeah. I, I was looking up, like... So I was trying to tell my, like... Guitar teacher what kind of music I want to learn. And I was like... You know, something like... In that kind of genre, like jazzy, but like kind of chill for the background music of uh, my my art videos. And so I started looking up subgenres of jazz, and apparently ambient jazz, punk jazz, and I think death jazz are things. Hey, hey! I think what I need to do is just like play some music that's like. I just need to get some, like, jazzy guitar riffs, and then, um, yeah, death jazz. I don't really know how you do it, but I just saw it on Wikipedia, I think. Either that, or I just made it up just now. <coughs> Doesn't Chican get bored of playing the same game over and over again? It's not going to reply to my greeting issue. <laughs> I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even want to understand them. Good, stop talking to me. I'll gladly call myself a gamer if it means you never speak to me again. Seriously, everyone here is such a weirdo, except Manhuru. Jeez! When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm becoming a weirdo, too. I feel like you already are one. Uh. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, Hajime. It's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yep. I just finished playing a game right now. Hey, hey. More importantly, I was wondering, is someone bringing food to Nagato? I brought him food yesterday morning. I don't know about the others. Is it all right if I see how he's doing later? Um. I'll head over to the restaurant now. What if I told my you my high school had female students were all Hikyos and no one else? Oh. Good day. Did they die?
No one feed the bastard. Just whoever forgets to feed him is the, the, the person who murdered him. It's just Russian roulette on whose fault it is. Good morning. After our, ever, what happened? Wait, hold on. What if we all collectively murder him by not feeding him? Like, we all know he's there. Have I already talked about this? What if we all collectively murder him? Then it's all of our faults equally. Like, murder by neglect. Right? And then... Then we just... All go, everyone did it. And then... Tie, the person who tied him up is at fault. What if we all walk in there with a knife to, like, untie him, but then opt not to? And then we all just go, I don't know who did it. Monokuma's just like, I don't even want to give you guys ev evidence. Y'all would get executed? Who would die? If everyone commits the murder and then they all vote for Junko, then we l win. Monokuma just makes you decide on one person. We can just go, it was a suicide. And then we're wrong, but we're all right because we all did it. Let me in the Discord server already. Uh, just connect it with your, your thing, my dude. You should be able to be in by now. You've been subbed to me for three months. Did you hook it up with your uh, Twitter? I mean, not your Twitter, your Twitch. Um, and you did... The instructions on exclamation point discord. You did that stuff? It lapsed, it just resubbed. Oh, I see. Uh, it should let you back in in a minute then. He knows who actually did it. Yeah, but he knows that every trial. After I greeted everyone, I put some food on my plate. Sat myself at the table near the window. Yo. What is it, Ajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? Just eat too much, Akane. You. You're the one to talk. You all you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're all full of nutrients. Gushers say that they've got, like, like, nutrients. I don't know if I believe that. You should eat real fruit. This seems like a bad time to bring up the game all of a sudden. You should. You should bring it up. You should bring it up. Let me tell you this. Is Maharu missing? Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. Sure enough, there was no sign of Maharu. <laughs> She's always here in the morning. It's strange for her not to come. Um, Wondering if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... What the? Small chance that oh, she's... Not, um, I saw Maru. She was outside the hotel. <laughs> oh, I see. Jeez. Don't say such a spooky Let's thing. Go. It's punishment. How about you run around in circles and say woof three times and jump off a cliff? How about as punishment, I yeet you off this island? <laughs> Seriously, everyone here has the physical strength to destroy you in one way or another. In our own special ways. You know? Some of us just by beating you to death. Some of us, like, Soda could build a machine that kills you. Like, can we just chuck her out into the ocean like a skipping stone? Just like, have her bounce off the water? Hey, hey! But what if Maharu is just doing... What was she doing outside the hotel? Yo. She said she wanted to be alone. Even asked if she wanted to come in and eat with us, but she turned us down. What? Wanted to be alone? Um. Maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way that Maharu would play that game. She's not like a slowpoke gamer girl over there. Huh? Were you referring to me? <laughs> I'm pig barf, aren't I? Hold on.
Oh, Wendy's. It's like, who the fuck is missing? I forgot about Wendy's. She's utterly forgettable. Looks like it's gonna be impossible to start talking about the game. I was lost in thought. Someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! Hey, Ajme, you got a sec? What is it? Kazuchi leaned forward out of his seat and glanced around the room and whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30, come to the supermarket. Don't tell anyone else about it. That way I can bury you there. Huh? I'll tell you about details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. I mean, it's bad. You fiend. What are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... Nothing? It's got nothing to do with you anyway, so just go and relax anyway. <laughs> you think I was worried about you fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You elevated elegance to an art, new art form. Shiver. You elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned that ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I'm the forbidden ruler who makes even God, the god of darkness, flee in terror. Fall, my tears. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. I never took him for a lonely type. For now. Guntam is fine. Someone asked me if I thought he was worth the terror tarot. And it's like, listen, Guntam, he survives longer, they pointed out, and that makes him, like, worse in some ways. But, like, Guntam is just cringy. There's nothing too bad about him. Like, all things considered, he's just kind of a cringy kid. When he gets a little older, he'll regret it. It's fine. He's fine. Guntim is fine. Like, he's he's a weirdo, but, like, Taro Taro is ex objectively worse. Now, whether or not... Uh, Terra Terra is worse than Ifume is a debate. I, I would say Terra Terra, um, because Ifume is a creeper, but he kind of keeps it to himself, you know? Anyway, Hajime, what's happening? Uh, that's what's happening, so I'll see you later then. You know, right? Just so you know, make sure you're, uh, make sure you conserve your energy. Serve my energy. <laughs> You'll see later. We're in a fuck all night. What was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuchi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. Like, Hifumi is a perv, but he keeps it to himself for the most part. And so it's like... Is it a bad thing if someone's pervy, but, like, they don't, like, actually do anything about it? Like, there's always the threat they will. But, like, you know, you, you probably wouldn't hang out with them if you gave a choice. But, like, he keeps it to himself. Taro Taro is just, like, actively creeping on people. Like, you can't avoid him like you can with Hufume. Hufume would shut down if you said something, you know? Yeah, it's 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 debatable, you know. And Fume is a perv, Terra Terra is a predator. Yeah, that's a good point. You still think his perviness was all an act? You think that he didn't want to? So he acted like a city slicker, but his understanding of a city slicker is a perv. It's an interesting look on it. But like, here's the deal: if you're um. If you're ironically pretending... Like, if you ironically pretend to be an asshole... It still makes you an asshole. You know? Pro Jared's dick is streaming right now. Well, there's that. You can watch me or you can watch someone who's more popular. Kazuchi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30pm. But what did he mean about... Uh, when he told me to conserve my energy...
I guess I should wa I shouldn't wander too far right now. Cancel the stream. Yeah, I gotta. I'm sorry. I gotta stream. Stop streaming right now, guys. That way, uh, Pro Jared, um, can stream. Don't want to step on Pro Jared's toes. We have free time. So who should we hang out with? Maybe save at the start of free time? Probably a good idea. We could play like a Gazo um, Academy or whatever. I'm sure that that's still good. Sonia or Chica? Lots of votes for Sonia. That's the, um... You okay? Okay, you're okay. Sonia is the rich chick, right? She seems fine. She seems like, uh, she's got some cool stuff going on. Like, she seems like I could be friends with her outside of being, like, a princess. How's it go? Academy probably is aged well, right? Oh, hey, she's right here. That's convenient. Well, since when are you a monarchist? Well, Chihiro wasn't trans. No, that was actually the entire point was that he pretended to be a girl so that way he could, you know not be bullied for not being as, like, strong as he believed a man should be. So, yeah, he's he's not trans. Not even close. Um, that's not even, like, close to what trans people are. Speaking of the Japanese detective dramas, I'm a huge fan of Bark at the Sun. So he was a scammer. No, he was insecure and kind of a weirdo and a baby. Like, he was a child. A child who was dealing with a situation that he had some mental insecurities that he didn't know how to deal with appropriately. And so he, uh, you know, he did what he could. He pretended to be a girl because he believed that he was weak and that girls are weak. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't even say not gender non-conforming because he accepted traditional gender roles of like chicks being weak as a thing you can read Shihiro is trans but the yeah nah like it's I don't know um I think it has maybe I'm misinterpreting it but um Shihiro was a man who pretended to be a woman to be able to not have to deal with the shame of not being good enough. It's like a whole point of um, his character arc was like basically him being kind of a kind of an asshole to women in a lot of ways. However, Police Western Division is also wonderful. I get chills whenever Damien Force appears. Don't come to Tumblr with these hot takes. Oh, I know, I know. Tumblr would not like me for them, but, you know. I don't always say things that Tumblr likes. Tumblr's right about some things, but sometimes Tumblr also, um... Is kind of too cloistered to be able to have like good takes. It's a similar thing that happens to 4chan, but in reverse. Uh, let's invite her to hang out. Hashime, which side are you on? Team Taka or Team Jury? I have no idea what we're talking about. I thought that was going to be the question, because normally they ask questions. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer today. Uh, 
Uh, do I want to give her a gift? Yes. I don't know if I have anything to give her. You want coconut juice? You want orzo? Safety half shoes. Oh. That is... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give that to you. I just want to read over it. As Princess of Novosek, I shall adamantly refuse to receive anything like this. Um. Must. Oh, that was wrong. Sorry. I want to read what it was. Disliked item. Reload. All right. We got to be perfect. We can't. We can't fuck around. Not when. Not when like. Not when like hanging out with people is on the clock. Stop right-clicking. I assume right-click is to look at things. The first event, you don't even need to give her an item. I reloaded anyway. It's not like it took any time. Stop pressing enter. I do as I please. Don't disappoint wife. Well, I'll... I did save before hanging out with her. The waifus are sake, says chat. Would you like to give her a gift? Do I need to? Apparently not, right? Have I hung out with her before? I feel like we have. Do we have a Google cake? I think we have the uh, rose in vitro. Nah, this is the first time. Are you sure? Try without. Okay, fine. Um. I must say this island is pretty wonderful place. Does someone know? How many fragments do I have with her? I have um one. One. Most tight. The weather. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a resort setting. Might be true, but... Oh my. Did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking about how you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? I... Most tight. Of course I'm one worried. I'm also angry. Jesus, it's not something to joke about. I feel like I should turn down my mic. It peaks every now and then. Let me just turn it down to like right about here. Is that better? Then I can speak directly into the mic. That should be better. Do I sound like I'm coming into like both ears equally now? Like, what if I do this? It doesn't seem like it changes anything. Weird. Okay. I thought I actually had to balance that. The mic is kind of low. Is it good low or bad low? I can turn it up a little bit. Quiet? Okay. Is that better there? Should be somewhere in between these two numbers. Um, Twitch subs should let you into the Discord. It just takes a minute. Nick, thank you for the gift subs. Uh, it can take up to like an hour, I've noticed in the past. Were those randomly scattershot? Zipline, I recognize. I know that name. Thank you, Nick. Um, I've seen it apparently take up to an hour. <sighs> Who's joking? However. However, the next, uh, what happens next depends on us. As long as we don't kill anyone, we should be all fine. That's right, attitude, but besides, I've come here to learn about your country. Cappy Rose, stop fighting with Nick. You guys need to get along. There's no reason to fight, you guys. There's no need to fight. Is that better? Sub war? Sub fight? I'm stuck in between. You guys could if you guys have this sub fight like tomorrow, it'll be like half as expensive. This is um September starts tomorrow. Ghoul Chamber, congrats on getting a random sub. I don't know who that Anon is, but there's an Anon every now and then who just gives exactly one sub. September is starting as sponsored by Subway, the place where you get sandwiches if you're really depressed. 
Well? Like, standards drop real fast when you're depressed, and that's really, you know, the, the key to it, you know? I've always wondered that. What if the non is just the person themselves, but they don't want to, like, admit that they are giving out subs? Like, they don't want to sub to me? But if they got it randomly, then it's like, well, I didn't sub to him. I got it randomly, you know? Subway meatball subs are delicious. I'm sorry you have depression. I diagnose you with depression because you eat at Subway. I do not intend on being killed easily either. The way she said that it sounded a little dangerous. If you were in my homeland, so it would be okay in your country? <laughs> anyway, let's forget about the killings and cooperate with one another until I, so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, uh, uh, feel free to let me know. Also, I'll do my best to think of something too. How does the uh, audio sound now? I think I've balanced it like right in the middle. Is this good? good right here because according to my levels meter it should be perfect right here like it shouldn't be peaking anymore yeah you're right whenever I speak to Sonia I somehow feel really positive and optimistic it's well enough at least let me try let me try doing this instead just start go from the uh, source instead just go there but sounding okay okay let's try turning it up every so slightly get somewhere in between I want to be like close to 10, but I want to be at like negative 10 ish. Right about here. Right about there. Right about here. Right about here. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. I had raisin bran. Or raisin bread, excuse me. Not that much of a boomer. Such an honor. Raise your head. There's no need to worry. Take your Ritalin. <laughs> I'm an American. I don't get money. I don't have medicine. I don't medicate. I was saying something odd, but it certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. That reminds me, what is the name of your country? As I recall, the name of the country was no Novosek Kingdom? I think? I think? As I recall, it's the Novosek Kingdom, right? <laughs> Sounds as though you can finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've ever heard of. This is understandable. It's often overlooked by photographers. Um. The Novosek Kingdom is an extremely small country and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is smaller, our economy is thriving, so we do not, and we are not in dire straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete ultimate trust towards the royal family. Well? And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. See, it really does sound like a kingdom. Since you're the princess of a kingdom, does that mean that you live in a castle or something? Yes. Of course, the royal family has been living in a royal castle for thousands of years. Though it may be old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I forget what they're called, but they're like copyright markers on a map. It's kind of a bitch to, like, actually, like, map out a map. Or, you know. Yeah. So instead of, like, doing it, sometimes people will just, like, steal a map that someone else has made and put the stuff in the same spots. And so they'll just pretend that they did the work themselves, but didn't. And to prevent that from being a thing, you could just not? Rev confirmed doctor. Yes, I'm definitely a doctor. I'm doing Dognorampa too. Yeah, this is episode, like, I want to say eight... It's easy to get lost in subterranean labyrinth. And our barracks are fully equipped as well. They used to put fake countries, fake countries, towns, stuff like that, and then you, uh, you know, you end up pretending that it's there. You say it's there, and then when someone goes, you know, to copy your map, you go, "Well, you copied my map because that town doesn't exist." 
Yeah, exactly. Because if you actually went to that spot, there'd be nothing there. Why don't I become a Lord of Novasek? I'm not a huge Nirvana fan, that's why. The castles really do have those. Um. Anyway, is it alright if I ask you something as well? well? I can answer it, it's fine. Who did you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch it to later? Huh? This is a situation uh, truly similar to the story of seven men and women. I believe it's the standard tactic to start wavering and swap partners. What are you talking huh? about? Do you really have no idea? It's Japan's legendary drama. Well? It starts off really upbeat, then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. And I was like, seriously, what's going to happen? I'm not going to take my eyes off the screen. Uh. Momoko's feelings at the time were, uh. my goodness, so intense. I continue to listen to Sonya extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now I understand why she might be a major J-drama fangirl. We got a we got a hope fragment. Is that real? She's asking who my waifu is. Yes. After I politely excused myself from a long conversation with Sonia, I left the area. <sighs> Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuchi. Whomst is your waifu? She's in the other room. Who's my Wi-Fi? Uh, it's the one I'm using to stream this, but I don't use Wi-Fi for streaming. Uh, keeping it mm, secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... Unsurprisingly, my wife is my waifu. Uh, there's no way someone as carefully as him would let something happen like that. I don't really do anime waifus. Huh? So we'll pass the range time and there's no sign of Kazuyushi. Please don't be dead. All of a sudden the anxiety had been keeping inside I've been keeping inside me began to swell up in like a balloon until Yo! Yo! What a Chad. I I guess. Who's your Juz Jojo husband though? Do I have to have one? Can I not? I agree with Speedwagon more than anyone else. Whoa! Hey! What the heck? Don't get pissed off just because I was a little late. Late? Speedweed seems to know what's going on. Like, I'm on episode, like, six or something. He seems to... Like, he's got the right fucking beat for this shit. Like, he knows... He knows what's up. Also, his abs are incredibly hot for some fucking reason. It's never explained. <laughs> I was hoping there would be some, like, explanation, but apparently, no. He's just ripped. And he's literally hot, I guess. Far I got, he's that kind of guy. Guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Like me. Well, that kind of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out like here? Hey. You know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Uh. Just overheard something. Apparently Miss Sonia's idea for a change of pace. It's like the, all the girls are secretly planning to go spread. Girls are secretly planning to go splashing around the beach. Doesn't seem like a secret now. So wait, don't tell me you. <laughs> As expected, Miss Sonia is splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. <laughs> I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles. All right. Listen, you should hang out with her. You know? Like, just be like, hey. D don't creep on her. Just hang out with her. Science says that people you hang out with are more likely to be into you. It's just a statistical average thing, you know? 
Like you're more likely to be you more likely to date someone that lives within like I forget like five doors of your apartment than someone who lives across the street or something like that. So like literally just hang out with her. Stop being a creeper. <laughs> Let's crash it together. Why hey, me? Hey. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and we all run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Too bad I'm too awkward to do that shit. We'll just go somewhere else. Like go to like, I don't know, wherever you hang out with people. Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Nakamura can't keep his mouth shut to save his life and gun him as well. Gun him. Who does that leave for you to hang out with? Hold on. Okay, he's trained up because he tried to murder someone. Um, and it's just a creeper. He's dead. He's gunned him. That's you. Teratero is dead because he murdered someone. Um, Nakamura is... Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I'm the only one you can ask, aren't I? He probably could have asked Teratero if he was alive and not had murdered someone and got murdered himself. Few Hiku and Nagato are out of the question. Yeah. <coughs> I understand why you're coming to me. Um, God, I need to go get some water. My throat's just killing me. I'll be back in like two. Is that okay? This is about the hour mark anyway. Right about time. Need to remember to remove the censorship kit. There we go. All right. I'll be back in two minutes, and I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, we're back. My throat's still killing me, I'm sorry. Um, today's Chrono game is Distrust. I was gonna write it off, but it says it's multiplayer. How's it multiplayer? If it's like multiplayer, like... I feel like I've heard of this. It's like TTT then, I guess. Huh, it's like multiplayer TTT. Look into it, that actually seems kind of interesting. That looks all right. That looks actually pretty okay. If I had known about it, I would have tried to get something together and gotten some free codes. Distrust is apparently the beta name for Dognarampa. I miss TTT too. I should probably get some people together for a TTT game. 
I'll, I'll ask Mike about it, see if he wants to, you know, play some TTT or something like that. TTT is multiplayer TTT. Yeah. I think that would be good. We'd have to set up a server. Um, maybe like us and the mods. A couple of Vine Sauce streamers, something like that. I'll, I'll look into it. And by look into it, I mean I'll completely forget that I was going to do that. Anyway, it's time for this thing. Hey! I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just going to walk all over my kind of act? You're snapping at me? <laughs> you say no, I'm going to bug you about it until you die. There's no way he'd be joking about that. It's Kazuyuchi, after all. I had no choice, then. Fine. That's my Ajima. That's how a soul brother should act. So what do I have to do? Well... Based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right! And that's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. We're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. I got it, so I just need to go Engine's to the diner. Revving. Yeah, who? I'm excited all now. Fuck, I butchered that. Like, voice acting, line, everything. Um, it makes us... makes... One of us, I suppose. It looks like he can't take a hint. For now. Chandler Beach on Second Island. So I ever heard. We gotta go there. TTT isn't good without extra guns. I don't know what extra guns to add, so we'd probably just play it vanilla. Dyslexia emote win. Jesus Christ, what did that even look like? Dyslexia? Second island. Gotta go all the way back around. One, two. A QR code? Just the word emote? Hey, you're here now. For now. Looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second all island. Right. So we gotta. Yeah, I know, I heard. Go to the diner. If this is you trying to murder me, I'm gonna be like, bro. That was not cool of you. Imto? Well, look. September's coming up. Um, a lot of people just <laughs> renewed subs or whatever. Um, let me check. We get two new subs in... Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot, actually. S. Jeeves, thank you for the sub. It's very kind of you. Okay, so that's uh, 138 more that we need. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Now we have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Twitch Prime sub is going to be the same today and tomorrow. So it doesn't really matter. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, this isn't a little too stalkerish. It's it's a teen boy thing to do. What are you When are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. Mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 p.m. It's 3 p.m. right now, so we're gonna have to wait one more hour. <laughs> Let's make it move early. That's just the basics, you know. I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. Fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonia on her way to the beach, you know. It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach and then pass in front of the diner. Engines revving. Or they'll pass in front of the diner. Think of a five bits there, lab coat. The current objective for anyone who's just come in is we're stalking the girls and uh, spying on them wearing wearing uh, swimsuits. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. 
Dove... Dove Cannon, excuse me. Thank you for the resub. Two months. Very cool. If this isn't a game, then what is it? Should really have just said no. Like, teenagers are just like this. I don't know how many of you are teenage boys, but... This is a little bit outlandish, but it's also a video game, so I believe it. I'm just letting a lot of shit slide because they're teenagers, you know? I don't know if I would have done this, but I don't think I would have had the balls to. Rest of my chin on my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. You are a teenage boy. Don't act like this. <gasps> are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, then 30. As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. Say, <gasps> so what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? That's when it happened. Under the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked in front of the diner. Isn't that... I wonder what happened, but I guess I should head over. I left the diner and hurried to where... ran where that person was standing. Is it... Nagato? Here it comes. Okay, let me get a... What? Oh, God. Why is it you? I'm just going to send to that. We don't want that. You bastards. I knew it was you. Do you hear Q? What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! That's my line. Hey, hey. What the heck? You're awfully tense. I actually seem so flustered. What are you calling you... flustered? Don't make false axe skins, you bastard. Huh? Oh, don't tell me. You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Plan? None of what's happening is gonna be cat worthy. Okay. I trust chat. Huh? There's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and you followed us all the way here, right? Hello! What are you doing in a place like this? Oh my my! What a strange combo. Uh, hello! What a wonderful day. Well, you are done for! You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you! I got so nervous, I ended up blurting out something weird. Yeah, that was weird and scary of you. Please don't hate me. I'll take the punish. You, um, you need a hug and medication, probably. Well. Uh, you two, is this such a coincidence? Never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. Really does suck at this. Well. Man, actually, Ajima and I we were about to head to the beach together. Oh my! Could that be what your ladies are here for? That would be such a coincidence, even if it does seem like destiny. Aww. Something obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like a salmon before they lay eggs. That's um, it's not a universal reference point right there for you. Well. No way, I'm always like this. I'm sure I put it. I always paid attention to my surroundings. Keep it. Oh. I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight. I realized that he had disappeared. Where'd Fuyuhiku go? Well... Regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30 p.m. You still have to... Oh! God damn it, dude! Um. Why do you know we were going to meet with the others? Why you... You even know our damn meeting time. Hmm. Oh, fuck. You are so dumb. For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So, is it okay if we join in too? No. Soda, for fuck's sake. God, you're as horny as you are dumb. And you're very dumb. He's all forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Really had no desire to do something to brute like decline the offer after all. 
But Sonia was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course! That's all good. It's just devastating to think Miss Sonia would decline, so I just wouldn't think of it. Is being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey! Hey! Is it alright if we go inside now? You, you, why are you speaking of yourself in the third person? It's not cool or cute. It's weird. The girls are just okay with him being a creeper, apparently. No, it's cute. No, it's not. You're wrong. I was gonna eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing. Let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off Fuyuhiku. Oh, well. I've come this far. I can't turn back now. When did she hurt me? Is soda horny Pepsi or horny Coke? What the fuck are you talking about? Iceberg cabbage. Welcome to this hellstorm. <laughs> All right, let's wait until till Sonia arrives. <laughs> An army marches on its stomach, and swimmers can only splash around on their stomachs too. Yeah, don't don't eat before going into water. Rice is a side dish. Wait, is there even rice here? All right, I guess we're going inside. Oh fuck the pet! Return to the diner and sat by myself near his table near the window once again. Phew, without thinking, I couldn't help but let out a big sigh. Pet, are you okay? Okay, it's fine. Thank you for saying that was a joke. I've actually met people who were like that. Um, it should let you in soon. Um, I'm sorry about that. The don't eat before swimming thing is a myth, isn't it? I don't know. I don't fucking know shit. I'm a streamer. My job is to make dick jokes and sigh at, like, cringy anime moments. Like, that's what I do. I'm not supposed to know things or do things. It's a myth. Swimming after eating does not cause cramps. Does eating after, or um, is it bad to swim after eating? How about this one? I don't know, it's from the Duke Health, which may or may not be related to Duke University. Um, Unfounded. Oh, huh. Your biggest danger related to eating after swimming is a minor cramp. I mean, yeah, obviously, but you don't cramps, right? That's the point. Then swim on stream. Uh, the nearest pool is not in, like, range for me to do such a thing. Educational stream. I'm sorry, we need to learn. It was important. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do about your swimsuits? You know you aren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know. Um. Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course! That's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Really? Uh, Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, yeah? You gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. My dude? My... Bruh. Tell me you're not wearing that. What is this thing? 
may be rude of me to say this, but that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally going to get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry, even if the worst, it won't turn into an action live action drama. <sighs> like, uh, I want to paste something on the uh, board. What do I tag it? Tag it as Rev Scarecrow at the very least. Uh, and then tag it as whatever game is relevant. Another mass shooting in Texas, I know. Um, for those of you not aware, Texas is fucking massive. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know where Odessa, Texas is, but if you live there, you know. I don't know. Look after people. I don't even know what to fucking say about mass shootings anymore. Austin is about dead center of uh, the state. If you're ever wondering where I am and if I'm okay. Anyway, let's talk about this anime game and about how we're gonna have to fit into a speedo for some fucking reason. Don't worry, even if it's worse, it won't turn into a live action drama. It's not the problem. Hey. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? I don't, I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Peeking, peeking. So things are heating up, uh, things are heating up something fierce. When is everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. Context, my dude, not, not the time to say that. I should have said that. Becky peeked out the window. Oh. Huh? What is it? Look outside, look outside. What's outside? Isn't that Hyoko? Oh, fuck, Sonya's dead, isn't she? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonya. Oh my god, just ask her out. Like, she likes Japanese audio dramas or something. Doesn't she seem a little strange? More so than usual? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Okay, so no one asked you to do that. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite our questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Did huh? you get turned down by Boss Baby? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she didn't she just come past running past the beach? Sorry. Sorry, I really don't know all the details about that. Please, for fuck's sake. Be nice to her. She's She's timid to the point of being just that just like you look up timid and it's just a picture of her face and that's it. That's her entire personality. <laughs> Just means women are full of surprises. Aww. Mahiro is the type to totally come, but she's surprisingly turned us down too. Mahiro did too. Uh, she did? She turned it down? So unexpected. It's so unexpected of her to not join in events like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently, she wasn't really feeling well. terribly sorry to continue on this topic but why was Hiyoko crying? Why are you asking us? If she's sprinting away from the beach and crying something's definitely wrong. Hey. Whoa! When'd you get here so suddenly? Kazuchi shouted when he saw who was looking uh, when I saw what he was looking at near the diner's interest I turned around My my how disappointing I thought if I came early I'd be the first one to arrive it's not worth a cat, you're right. You're asking a probably really awkward teenager to ask a literal princess out. Fair enough. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit! I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. No, I feel that. Like, 
anytime I have to, like, I don't know, go somewhere, I, like, try and not bring things with me. Like, I will not bring something with me. Like, I walked down to the ca cafe the other day, and I regretted bringing a book with me because it weighed me down, and I didn't read it. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Oh, hell yeah, ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm going to turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. You're wrong. Ice cream is great. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game, too. Sure. Hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. What? I see. That's disappointing. I mean, it's kind of weird to bring a board game to the beach, but it's fine. I would play a board game at the beach. But how should I say this? Is this what Gap Mo is supposed to be? Chat, translate. I don't. I don't know what that means. I, I know what Moe is, vaguely. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Cute. Thigh gap? Is that what it is? Cutesy? What is gap cutesy, then? Be careful. What if I just Google this real quick? Is, am I going to get put on, like, a watch list or what? Gap Moe is when someone think okay, that's fine then. For someone to be so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit makes you excited, right, Hajime? I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting a bit faster and faster. <laughs> Never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. Don't say that out loud. Think it to yourself. What happened? Jugs? Hey, hey, hey! I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know. What are you saying? Uh... I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a pure blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Stop. Hmm. The size is a little small, but this is the only swimsuit that fit me. Hey, hey. Don't I look good in it? Oh my god, this writing. Well, no, I, I, I guess you look good. Thanks. I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring. You get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not pounding. It's like thumping sporadically, like ba dump thump 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 thump. It's probably be a heart attack. Soda, stop being a perv. And you... Stop as well. Yo. Hey, I kept you waiting. I heard a voice from the diner door slowly open. The person who walked through it was. Are you covered in blood? Are you covered in blood? Uh, hey. Hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. <laughs> what happened to you? What? Something, wrong? something wrong? I made sure to wear I a made swimsuit. Sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that. Your wounds. Why are you bleeding? It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Uh, Oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. And he beat your ass? What? And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? You two have a weird relationship. I'm going to assume you're okay for some reason. Why does she have to do that? Are you really all right? Your head... It looks like it's split in half. That's a lot of blood. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? There was a uh, Madden game uh, when I was a kid. Uh, my brother and my dad used to play it, and there was an announcer line from John Madden himself. Um, and it was like, oh, man, that, that injury looked pretty bad, but you spit on it, put a little tape on it, get back in the game. And that became, like, our, like, Anytime someone gets hurt, we're trying to, like, defuse the situation sort of thing. We just go, ah, you know, spit on it, put a little tape on it, get back in the game. 
because it's such a stupid thing to say, and of course it plays every five seconds because it's like the only clip for like a uh, for like an injury in that game. Also, now John Madden speech voice thing is happening. You're totally playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. <laughs> you need to be treated. Also, your wound needs to be sterilized. Please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, you can pull Akinade into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. It's going to be okay if we just leave it to her. Hey. What's all this ruckus? All right. Who is it this time? Why are they all wearing bikinis? Why did you bring your sword with you? There's no point to that. You're going to the beach. Why would you bring your sword? What? Ajiman, Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. Weird flex, but all right. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Hey, Ajime. What? Awesome! A woman with wet, wet slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Can you focus? Oh my my! You're fine. Soda has like a girl in mind. He needs to focus and not try and hit on every girl he sees. You have not said who you're into and you can just be gay. It's whatever. Fuck it. I just accept it at this point. Yes, no, I saw it the first time. Thank you for scrolling up. Again. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. Pico, thank you. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here and it's already past four. If so, all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. Oh, he's about to die. He's gonna die of blood loss. <laughs> Real casual, really good right there. Man, that's... Good job. She won't freak out about that. He's doubled down on excitement. <laughs> Alright, wanna see what kind of sexy swimsuit Miss Sonia is wearing. <laughs> ah, it's a wetsuit! Fucking wet. <laughs> nice. It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really, it is my bad. Oh, please don't try and use slang. It's just awkward. Oh, my. I see a wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of her is amazing. It's what I expect from a 100% purebred princess. It's, uh, it's weird. This guy, he's quick to recover. Um. So anyway, what are you two? Uh. Why are you two here? I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. To be honest, I was gonna go to the bit beach. Please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, it was originally supposed to be a girl's only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other, but... <sighs> Do you think you can make an exception, pretty please? Um... Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems, even if there are some boys. Then... You're right. Then they all came the, all the way here. It'd be bad if we made them leave. <sighs> No, you can tell Soda to fuck off. Miss Sonia is so kind. All right. Now that it's decided, let's get going. 
But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! Can you not wear a thong? I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines revving. I mean it. Promise I'll give you all. I'll give it my all and serve you all. Or serve you so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a bit awkward. Should go help Kazuchi too. Is there something? Okay. Thought there was some dirt on my screen, but there's not. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner almost as if we were escaping. Listen. Soda needs to just not put on the Speedo. Someone's gonna be dead over here. You know it. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? Murder. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Oh, wow. A fun thing is immediately ruined by a body. That's a lie, impossible. Someone, someone come here! Who's left? Okay, who who is left to be murdered? Hold on. All right. So, could be Nagato, could be Gundam. Could be Nakamura, could be... No. We saw him. Did we see him before or after she ran? Could be Wendy. It's definitely Kazuyoshi's voice right now. Sounds like he's nearby. I heard the scream nearby. There's no time for me to run away. I just don't want to investigate. Is that okay? D did that scream just come from in here? Cautiously, I reached my hand out to the doorknob. I just to the doorknob and tried to open the door. Would open? It's locked. No, this is different. There's something blocking the door from the other side. What does this mean? I can't go swimming right now. Kazuchi screamed. Did I really hear it from coming from in here? What am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery amount. I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? I raise my voice as I step swiftly inside the beach house. All right, take your bets now. Who's dead? I'm saying, uh, I'm saying boss baby. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Oh. Oh, it's Wendy's. What the fuck? This was all a dream. When did I start dreaming? This is reality. Why is Maharu on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. I couldn't believe in anything. That's a lot of blood. She's she's probably fine. So as a question, how long do you think the um how long do you think that this will take, uh, to do? The blood looks like she got hit by a train. Nah, if you get hit by a train, it's a lot worse. Don't want to go into how I know that, but, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't stay in one piece. Invi- Invi- Investigation is probably about 30 more minutes. 30 minutes until the investigation, or 30 minutes to do the investigation? Investigation's like an hour and 30. 30 to 45, a while, two minutes. I'm just wondering if this is a good place to stop. How long is the, uh, how long is the trial? Let's say that it's an hour just because I'm slow and dumb. I mean, it's suspicious that she ran away, but it's once two people find a body that it counts, right? Really long? Trials are always like two to three hours. Hour, f an around an hour for the investigation. Trials, long, long trial, long, like two to three hours. Save it for its own stream. I kind of feel like I should start the trial 
in the same stream that I do the investigation. None of these are, yeah, none of these are accounting for tangents. Yeah, I'm, I'm accounting an extra like 20 to 30% because of tangents. I think it's probably good just because I have a feeling that I'll forget everything. Uh, wh okay, yeah, why don't we go until the investigation actually starts, then go from there. That seems good. It seems bizarre that, um, what's-her-name was running away, but she found the body. That's why she was crying. She had an unyielding force of personality. She was actually very good at taking care of people. She's always straightforward. Are we trying to think of nice things to say about her? Is this one of those things where you show up to the wake and the person is an asshole? And everyone's like waiting for someone else to speak and they're just like... They're always a really big part of my life. Someone else goes, yeah, yeah. Not wanting to say that that just meant that they're an asshole. Towards us, towards herself, she was always facing forward. Towards herself, she was always facing forward. I would hope it's very hard to face backwards. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Maher? Why? Why did this happen to her? My muscles in my face stiffen and my... And my muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble. I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hazume. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We we're excited about going to the beach. We we're, were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why would something like this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on here either. Oh. Um. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry up and get the others. E e e Becky instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took her some time uh, for everyone to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time, but I don't really know how much time had passed. If you ended up with the man nut, you would have gotten a scene with Hiyoko and Mahiro. Who do you think you could rule out? I think I can rule out, like... Nagato, uh, I can rule out um, myself and Soda. We know we didn't do it. Depends on what it happened. She was out and about late last night, so it depends on how fresh the body is. I don't know. If it just happened, then the the list is pretty short. My emotions were also numbed within me. Various levels were peeling off. My senses started to return. Around me, I realized that others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? It's a dead body. <coughs> the girls are standing outside the door leading to the beach. Their faces were fit, pale with terror. Something like this. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? And someone got murdered. With their pale faces still intact, these girls began wobbling towards the beach house until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Hold on a sec. Mm. There's things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know the footprints that in front of the door? The footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. Do not step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence, Monokuma mentioned in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold the class trial. What the? Another class trial? Are you serious? Then you're, you're saying this is... That's right! One of you guys killed her! No, I think it was suicide. I think she committed suicide with a baseball bat. The fuck? Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something. Yeah, an accident? You think that happened? You think that someone had an accident? What kind of accident do you aggressively have with a baseball bat that leaves that much blood? Like... If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words... Still counts as a legitimate murder. I don't think that's how it works. Oh god, Leon is the ultimate baseball... Okay! <laughs> Wrap it up, I don't even need to investigate it was Leon, we know it. 
Though such deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dialing from sickness is basically only death that's not considered a murder. What about old age? What if we die of old age? <laughs> it's impossible to get sick and die on this island, not when Monomi takes such good care of people, and because it's a program and not real. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. I don't like There this. it is, silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. <laughs> Fine, I'm not gonna lose your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> Whereas, once again, in this horrible nightmare, Another victim, it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, this isn't my fault. Then whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we'll hold a class trial. So... Let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the Monokuma file! You start to feel familiar. Do your best. Now then, you should do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later in the class trial. <laughs> this is horrible, just too horrible. Hey! Um, I think you can die of old age just because, like, your body gives out. Like, your body just stops working right after a while. It's not like a uh, disease thing. It's just like your... It's like your heart could give out. I mean, like, your heart is something wrong with you at that point. Your heart has, like, stopped regenerating the way it needs to properly. I think you can die old age. I think you've stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? I did have that power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it, judging from what Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she did stop herself. This Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but I can only hear about three times that of a normal person. Basically. You have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I don't need reminders of my own mortality. You're good, dude. You got a while off of that shit. The worst powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> no, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Do we have to do it again? Cool thing that we have to do it again. Why? I can't believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Damn it! I can't do anything anymore. Investigating the whole class trial. Seriously, I'm done. Everything. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except to do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahuru was killed. Hey. The only thing we can do is investigate. Because it's bad. Because we should never forget that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer had their reasons. I understand that. It's the same for Terra Terra too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that too, but even so, killing. we should never forgive um. killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to do something, for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. It's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us to all survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it. So let's do this. Perhaps. My hero probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand if everyone's doing it, I will too, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. I'll go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> Shall I excuse myself for now? Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiro Kuzumi? Her. And why was she killed? <laughs> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more of a reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Because I'm the main character. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. First, I need to save and quit. Take care of the pet real quick. Did you poop? Nope, you're good. Save. So... Let me look at my uh, list of suspects real quick. All right, so it's not Kameda. It's not Byakuka. Could be Gundam. Isn't Soda. Uh, all right, so the only possible is Gundam because we don't know where he is right now. Nekomoro, it could be Boss Baby. I feel like we saw 
coming out from the beach, so it's entirely po It's actually incredibly suspicious we saw him coming from the beach. But I feel like he's the red herring of every, like, thing. Uh, she was covered in blood, which is suspicious. Uh, Chiaki is too gung-ho about this. Gun him? Gunned him? Sorry. I mean, it depends on when it happened. If it happened recently, then we can call out some people like Soda. If it happened last night, then we don't know. Uh, Sonia, I was with. If it happened last night, then it could be literally anyone. There is because he was actually the one who, yeah, actually it's not him because he triggered the body discovery. Yeah, actually, you can't... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Doesn't finding the body absolve you from the murder? Like, can you discover the body if you are the one to create it? No, right? It's got to be three people. So, okay, no. How the body fair... So then, Soda discovering the body means that it can't be him, right? As three, soon as three or more people have discovered a body for the first time. Three people who aren't the killer need to discover it. So, if I'm gonna take my guess, the three people were Boss Baby, what's her name, uh, the baby. The answer to that question is a spoiler. I would imagine so. Three, including the killer. Is it three other than? It's not consistent. Okay. It's ambiguous looking at the rules. Yeah, it could count the murderer. But the thing is, Soda can't have discovered the body twice. So who are the three people who discovered it? It would be Soda, what's her name, and Boss Baby. Three other than the killer. Unless if one of them was the killer, in which case that means that there's one other person. So we need to find out who the three people who discovered the body are. And then that calls out those people from... It's a spoiler question. You know what? We're gonna save and call it there because it's gonna take too long and Tilda has another early like 4 a.m. shift, so I don't want to be up too late streaming, being loud, yelling at anime boobs. New challenge. Kill someone without discovering their body. You could do it. It would just be very difficult. You would, um... You would drop someone off like a thing into like a hole and then just not look to see whether or not it killed them or not. But the th problem with that is if you invest, like, if you see the dead body, or if you don't see the dead body, then you don't know they're dead. There are four new arts. Uh, one of which I saw on Twitter and retweeted, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. It's time for Boru. There we go. All right, and this one's from Ace Lad, and it's from the uh, uh, Homestuck streams. I said I liked uh, vodka mutini. I think it's cute because I have a I have a couple black kitties too. This one's cute. I'm trying to figure out how the uh, the things work in that game, and then chat's going off, just being like, "The fuck." This is a good one. I showed it to Tilda. Vodka Mutini, and um, uh, she agreed that it is her aesthetic and is cute. What happens when a murderer eliminates the body so no one can uh, be discovered? Well, I guess then the trial would never happen, so you'd never actually get to get away with it. <laughs> uh, this probably will get deleted because it's not like... You know, photoshops are generally deleted, but um, here comes the rain has this this photoshop of someone yeeting the child, which is good. Goodbye, fucker. All 
I don't think the littering world rule applies to bodies, because if it did, then everyone who killed anyone would be in trouble for littering. Uh, then we got this from from Big Papa Jeremy. I'm so powerful, my mind uh, it amazes me sometimes. I'd like to speak to the CEO of Terra Terra. What the fuck is this referencing? I'm at my fucking limit. What the fuck? I feel like these are all memes, but I don't know them. <laughs> I, I know the I'm at my fucking limit one and the worm on a string one. Those are good. I would like to speak to the CEO of racism. I see. I see. I haven't seen that meme before. But Big Papa Jeremy, thank you for the art. I like the style. I haven't seen this one before. Why is Beta Terra Terra hot? Okay. So first off, let me go ahead and check that. Beta Terra Terra. What the fuck? Wait, what? Yeah, they... What the fuck? Hold on. What? Is this real? Did they change him intentionally to make him less attractive? You might come across spoilers. Okay, good point. I'm closing that now. And then we got this one from Just a Little Jinxed. This is bad end. Man, it would have sucked had I like stopped before we saw who the body was. It's based off the beta art, but it's a fan-made sprite. I see. Okay. It's a fan edit. Don't look up any of the other uh, beta designs. Spoilers abound. What a glow down. <laughs> uh, uh, just a little jinx. Thank you for the art. Uh, sorry she died. I know a lot of people really liked her, but uh, I don't know why. few Hikus and Nekomaro's beta designs got switched. Yeah, I could see. I could see that. That makes sense. All right, Mubot being, like, hardcore. She meant well? That's what we say when we have nothing nice to say about a person down here in the South. Um, but, uh, thank you for the art, y'all. Like, she didn't really do anything that really led me to believe that she was a good person. She was kind of a, kind of a weirdo, to be honest. Um, but with that, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there, I think. Um, my, my throat is killing me. I will not be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'll be streaming with Mike on Monday. Uh, she cared? Did she, though? Did she? She's kind of there. Anyway, I hope you had a, uh, um, also discord is still not working. Uh, try, uh, if it's not any of the things on there, um, like, I don't know, um, uh, tr try like, um, fuck, I don't know, uh, PM me or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. If it doesn't work by tonight. Um, I was serious about the hitman thing. Um, well, depends on how much you're paying me. Cause if you're just thinking that I'll do a hit for like a Twitch sub, then, you know, I'm sorry to tell you like, that's, it's not quite enough money to end human life. Um, I need at least like a, a tier two Twitch sub for me to murder someone. I think, you know, tier one. Nah, I can't do that, man. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good time tonight. Um, I had a good time. Um, and I will, uh, see you guys on Monday with Mike. Uh, we'll do some Minecraft. He told me that he, uh, logged on, uh, at one point during the week to just, like, m do some additions to the, the place because he was having so much fun. So, there'll be some additions to look at next time. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.